So, you're thinking about moving to Roanoke, but you want to know what some of those costs will be when you get here. And you're probably wondering what the heck is going on with the housing market here. In this video, I'm going to break it down and tell you what it costs my family of four to live here. Let's do this. Everybody quiet, please. Hey, I'm Rob Jesse, the host of Eat, Live, Love, Roanoke, local real estate agent, and your guide to everything Roanoke, Virginia. Let's dive right in. So let's talk about that elephant in the room. What's going on with these housing prices? Well, the short of it, we don't have a lot of inventory. And seeing that across the country, our listings currently, active listings are down about 8%. So this year and last year have been, in, have been uh, quite slow as far as inventory. The uh, new listings were down about 6% from this time last year. Uh, but what we're really seeing and what's affecting it is that the prices have gone up, but the interest rates have gone up also. So some of those buyers that were looking at $500,000 houses currently qualify for $350,000 houses as well. If you know areas, a $500,000 house doesn't look the same as a $350,000 house. And a lot of times they're in different neighborhoods. So some of these buyers not able to buy in the neighborhoods that they wanted. And that's happening throughout the country. What really has gone crazy here in the Roanoke area, and I'm seeing it across the country too, are rental prices. About a year ago, you could get a one bedroom uh, apartment for about $700, uh, give or take a little bit. Now you're looking at a one bedroom apartment being anywhere between 800 to 1,000. Uh, two bedroom uh, apartments and houses anywhere between 900 to 1100 and then three bedroom apartments anywhere between 1300 to 1600 and then if you want a house those are anywhere between 1300 all the way up to about 2500 I've seen some for more uh, it all depends on the area what the size of the house is things like that so our rental prices have really jumped in the last year uh, to year and a half hopefully things will level out a little bit uh, but if you're thinking about moving here you may want to sit and see if it's cheaper for you to buy than to rent because of the rental prices the median sales price in this area is 252000 and that's up a little bit from 2020. Uh, in 2020, the median price was 229 So it hasn't jumped that much in the, in the last two years. What you're seeing is the jumps in the different neighborhoods, uh, and some of those, of course, have doubled. So let's head to the store. Uh, I shop at Kroger typically. At Kroger right now, a gallon of milk is $3.99. Uh, a dozen eggs range from $2.99 up to $7.50. It depends on whether you want just Kroger brand eggs, whether you want cage free, range free, just whatever. It depends on the types of eggs you want. Bread right now uh, is about $2.99. You can get a Kroger brand for about $1.99 uh, if you go with some of the bigger choices of breads, you're looking at uh, $4 a loaf. Uh, so prices have definitely increased uh, over the last year to two years. Uh, I think we're up about 13 to 15% uh, in groceries, but it also depends on what you're buying. Some of those things have gone up 30, 40, 50%. Some of them only a few. So I think that average is kind of misleading a little bit. And so to get to the grocery store, you gotta have gas, unless you're walking. Uh, gas prices currently are about 307 a gallon, uh, all the way up to 340 a gallon. It depends on where you're at in the area. Some parts of Venton and the Blue Ridge area, you can get gas for about 307. Uh, parts of Vernon County, some parts of Salem, it's uh, as much as 340. It all depends on, and that's for regular gas. Depends on where you're at in this area. And so then let's move into utilities. My family of four. Uh, now, I do need to let you know we keep our thermostat at 67 during the winter time, uh, but it fits us. Our electricity bill runs about 150 a month. Uh, we have gas heat and gas water heater. 
uh, so we're not using the electric for that but about a hundred about 150 a month our gas bill ranges anywhere between 30 a month uh, in the summertime up to 100 150 a month in the winter time uh, we definitely try to keep it low uh, we don't have new windows on our house so I'm sure we're losing some kind of you know cost out the window uh, cable bill we don't have cable but cable runs anywhere between 150 to 250 depends on what you want in your packages uh, a lot of the cable company a lot of times has packages if you sign a two-year contract then they'll you know knock off a price or something or throw in HBO I'm not sure internet we pay $89 a month for internet uh, not including the taxes and I think that's kind of the middle of the road speed it's not the best speed but it's you know not the worst either water and sewer we do have public water and public sewer our water and sewer bill usually between 75 to 85 a month uh, we don't typically go much over that or much under that's just the, the standard for us you would save if you had a well or a septic at your place because I'm fluffy we got to eat so let's talk about going out to restaurants uh, my family of four can go to Bojangles or Wendy's or Chick-fil-a or wherever uh, and spend about 30 to 40 dollars uh, for four meals for us uh, we and then if we go sit down to eat uh, somewhere like El Rodeo which is a great Mexican restaurant here locally um, or if we went to just a local local place to sit down and eat you're looking at our bill we're looking at our bill being about fifty dollars to seventy five dollars that doesn't include the tip and it also uh, doesn't include any kind of alcoholic beverages restaurants in this area haven't seen much of a price change uh, most restaurants uh, anywhere between a dollar to two dollars uh, to each item on the menu which in the grand scheme of things of uh, you know what we're paying for goods now not that much now let's talk about child care now my kids are too old to, to be in child care uh, and sometimes I probably need to be in child care but anyway um, child care runs about hundred forty dollars a week uh, per child and and they give discounts and also if your child's in diapers it could be a little bit more uh, if you need part-time this is for full-time daycare runs about hundred forty dollars a month I mean a week and then uh, compare that to uh, Richmond or Northern Virginia where they're paying $250 a week. We got it pretty good here. We have some amazing child care places here. If you need one, reach out. We'll talk about it. So at the end of the day, how do we stack up against the other cities uh, in, in Virginia? Uh, so I pulled Alexandria, Richmond, and Norfolk. Uh, Alexandria, it's 68% more to live there than it is to live here. Richmond, about 15% more to live in Richmond than here. And then the one that really surprised me was Norfolk. Norfolk, it's only about 10% more to live there than here. So if you're thinking about moving here, uh, or if you live here and thinking about buying or selling, let's have that conversation. Now may not be the right time or now may be the best time to do this. So let's have that conversation, uh, figure out what is best for you and go from there. Send me an email, send me a text, set up an appointment to do a Zoom call, send your owl with a note to call you. However it is, let's have that conversation. So until next time, be safe.